Dr. Ford, in choosing uh, attorneys, did anyone help you with the choice on who to choose? Um, various people uh, referred me to lawyers that they knew in the Washington, D.C. area. So as you know, I grew up in this area, so I asked um, some family members and friends, uh, and they would they referred me to like divorce attorneys that might know somebody that might know somebody, and uh, I ended up interviewing several law firms from the D.C. area. And did anybody besides friends and family refer you to any attorneys? Um, I think that uh, the staff of Diane Feinstein's office suggested the possibility of some attorneys. Okay. Including the two that are sitting on either side of you? Not both of them, no. Okay. Um, we've heard a lot about FBI investigations. Mm -hmm. um, when did you personally first request an FBI investigation? I guess when we first started talking about the possibility of a hearing, I was hoping that there would be an, a more thorough investigation. Would that investigation have been something that you would have submitted to an interview? I would be happy to cooperate with the FBI, yes. Would you have been happy to submit to an interview on, by staff members from this committee? Absolutely. Besides, you mentioned some GoFundMe accounts. Besides those, are there any other uh, efforts outside of your own personal finances to pay for your legal fees or any of the costs occurred, uh, incurred? It's my understanding that some of my team is working on a pro bono basis, but I don't know the exact details. And uh, there are members of the community in Palo Alto that have the means to contribute to help me with the security detail, et cetera. Have you been provided? I think I can help you with that. Both her counsel are doing this pro bono. We are not being paid, and we have no expectation of being paid. Thank you, counsel. Have you seen any of the questions that I was going to ask you today? No. Have you, you've been asked a few questions by other people as well. Have you seen any of those questions in advance? No. Have you been told them in advance? No. And, and likewise with my questions, have you been told my questions in advance? Definitely not. Okay. Um, you mentioned about some uh, possible information such as when uh, Mark Judge worked at the supermarket. I, I want to ask you about someone else. Um, you mentioned that there was a classmate who was really sort of the connection between you and Brett Kavanaugh. Mm -hmm. Who was this person? I, I think that that case with Mr. Whalen, who was looking at my uh, LinkedIn page and then trying to blame the person, I just don't feel like it's right for us to be talking about that. Uh, I'm not trying to blame anybody. I just want to know who the common friend that you and... The person that Mr. Whalen was trying to say looked like Mr. Kavanaugh. Okay. Um, how long did you know this person? Mm, maybe for uh, a couple of months we socialized, but he also was a member of the same country club, and I knew his younger brother as well. Okay. Um, so a couple months before this took place? Yes. Okay. Um, how would you characterize your uh, relationship with him both before and after this took place, this person? Um, he was somebody that uh, we use the phrase, I went out with. I wouldn't say date. I went out with for a few months. Um, that was how we termed it at the time. Um, and after that, we were distant friends and ran into each other periodically at Columbia Country Club. But I didn't see him often, but I saw he, uh, his brother and him several times. Was this person the only uh, common link between you and Mr. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh? He's the only one that I would be able to name right now uh, that I would like to not name, but you know who I mean. Um, and uh, But there are certainly other members of Columbia Country Club that 
were common friends or they were more acquaintances of mine and friends of Mr. Kavanaugh. Okay. Um, can you describe all of the other social interactions that you had with Mr. Kavanaugh? Uh, briefly, yes, I can. There were, uh, during freshman and sophomore year, particularly so my sophomore year, which would have been his junior year of high school, uh, four to five parties that my friends and I attended that were attended also by him. Okay. Did anything happen at these events, like we're talking about, besides the time we're talking about? You, you can answer that question, then I'll go to Senator Harris. Go ahead and answer that question. There was no sexual assault at any of those events. Is that what you're asking? Yes. I yes, know. those were just parties. Or anything inappropriate yeah. is what I'm well, asking. Maybe we can go into more detail when there's more time. I feel time pressure on that question. Okay. Yeah. Senator I'm happy to answer in further detail if you want me to. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead and finish answering your question. Oh, okay. Um, uh, did you want me to describe those parties? Um, or should we one leave this to the next round, Mr. Chairman? No, answer, answer the question. I'm just happy to describe them if you wanted me to, and I'm happy to not. It's just whatever you want. Maybe this will whatever is your preference. Cut to the chase. My question is: Was there anything else that was sexually inappropriate? Any inappropriate sexual behavior on the part of Mr. Kavanaugh? towards you at any of these other functions? No. Okay. Senator Harris. 